The situation when injecting drug users in India is a bad one. It's a rather terrible one. Uh, the situation with drug users is a terrible one. Let's put it that way. It's a very ironic situation actually because in India we didn't have a criminal law against drugs. Like we didn't have a criminal law against gay sex actually. The, the gay sex law came in when the British came. The criminal law on drugs came in because the Indians introduced it based on agreements that they had made with some powers that be in the world in 25 years ago and we criminalized drug use uh, at that point really and since then you've seen a push first of all towards very risky habits within drug use so for instance uh, you know marijuana has is traditionally been used in india for centuries and centuries and centuries it was criminalized and it has fueled an, a, a drug use situation which is far more risky um, and there are pockets in India where it's, it's, it's actually a drug user's epidemic uh, because India is geographically in the positions where there's a lot of kind of trade going on. And so, and those are, those are people who are very much at the margins, I would say, uh, of, of any kind of policy or thinking or compassion or, or even rights kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, empowerment really. There are some attempts to, to try and create some needle exchange programs, drug substitution programs, but those are happening despite the law, so it's not easy to do that kind of work. Uh, but we know, the science tells us that these kind of interventions are the right things to do. But it's very difficult to convince policymakers in India that this is how we need to change our thinking on this. But hopefully it'll happen. I mean, there's a lot of effort going on, so. But they've also been disrupted often, so then they disrupt and they come back, etc. So it's, it's never been easy. Uh, and like I said, they are isolated efforts, so it's not a comprehensive kind of attempt to do this. A uh, couple of NGOs are trying to do it despite all the forces which are against them. For further information on human rights, HIV AIDS, and to endorse now more than ever the joint statement, visit www.hivhumanrightsnow.org.